Let's calculate the limit when x approaches to 3 of the square root of 12 minus x minus 3 divided by 3 minus x. We can see that we have a fraction with on the denominator a polynomial and on the numerator the square root of a polynomial minus a number. So we have a division with a square root and a polynomial of a polynomial and a polynomial on the denominator. And as a result, this is this fraction is a continuous function. That's because of the polynomials. So let's to solve this limit we have to substitute the value the x approaches to that's three and let's see if the number we obtain makes sense that is substituting we have the square root of 12 minus 3 the mi minus 3 divided by 3 minus 3 so this is the square root of 12 minus 3 is 9 that is 3 minus 3 of course divided by 0 and we have 0 divided by 0 as we can see we have a problem here that is the denominator equals 0 a fraction with denominator 0 doesn't make sense at all and as we've obtained a 0 also on the numerator that could be if the denominator were different from 0 but as it is 0 divided by 0 this is called an indetermination so by obtaining a 0 divided by 0 we cannot tell the result of the limit so what can we do to solve this limit as we can see we have a square root with an x inside and in this case what we have to do is let's copy the limit down here and on the numerator where the let's multiply by the numerator both the numerator and the denominator but with the minus ch sign change that is the square root of 12 minus x plus 3 times the numerator and times the denominator this is just rationalizing to get rid of the square root so multiplying this we will have the numerator is we have as an addition times a subtraction of the same thing so that is the same as writing the first term square minus the second term square and we let's write the denominator down here that is 3x 3 minus x times the square root of 12 minus x plus 3 now the limit is when x approaches to 3 of the numerator the denominator will leave it like this without operating this without operating it and the numerator is 12 minus x minus 9 that is getting rid of the square root and the square and minus 3 square is minus 9 As I said before, this 3 minus x will be simplified with the numerator. We'll get rid of both of them. So simplifying the numerator, we have 3 minus x. And on the, the let's copy the denominator again. That's the reason not operating the denominator, so we can simplify it now. So so we can see this 3 minus x as it appears on the numerator we, we will cross them out that's it and now the limit of x when x approaches to 3 is 1 divided by what's left on the denominator the square root of 12 minus x plus 3 and now substituting the x by 3 we will have 1 divided by the square root of 12 minus x that is minus 3 plus 
here we go so this is the same as 1 divided by the square root of 9 plus 3 and this is the same as 1 divided by 3 plus 3 equal to 1 sixth so now we've obtained the real results of the limit 1 sixth